Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And here it is. It is June 25th. This is the day we get the bottom dollar bounties. I feel like, even though I know I said that right, I, it feels like I said it wrong. The bottom dollar bounties. It feels it's an interesting, some kind of tongue twister there that... I'm not sure what that is. But we're here. We've got the, we've got the, uh, the DLC. This video will probably be DLC week for me, but whatever I throw into this, because I just want a quick look at it for right now, and then we'll come back to it. It's supposed to be a pretty brief DLC. Like it doesn't seem like it's it's like uh, like all the the drug war stuff or anything like that. It's being compared to mercenaries, although from what I've seen, I think mercenaries may have had even a little bit more stuff going to it too. I don't think it's a money maker. I really don't. I think we're going to lose money on this. But I imagine we should get like the phone call at some point or something, right? To trigger all that. We'll wait on the phone call, maybe we'll tow a thing. Because we should be getting a phone call. So Zion on your GPS, 1.64. I'm tempted to get this to 269 million just to because once we once we start this we're just gonna bleed money like there's no tomorrow that'll take a while before I make 10 million back and I don't think we're gonna do it with this DLC it's this DLC not um, not the big money thing Unless you really want to grind it. Which you can. You can grind all kinds of stuff. Look what I'm doing. I'm just trying to keep my popularity up here. Don't really care about the money itself. There's going to be a certain amount of, I think, to do this DLC. It's like you got to be at the point where you're not doing it for the money itself. You're doing it to play the game. I, I think I'm there. I think I'm at the point where I can I can be playing the game, not worrying too much about the actual dollars. Because where am I going with it? I've got hardly any parking. And the cars are you know wildly expensive. It's really the police cars are. They're all they release new police cars. They're like five million dollars. I'm like, well, I've got one. Thanks. And I like them. I think they're cool and all that kind of stuff. They look cool. I'd love to have them. The Say, do one of you guys know how to Madison? Mm. Okay, gang. Full disclosure, I'm starting to think that my power supply may be going out. My reasoning behind this is that one of the times where the computer went bad and I had to restart it, when it came back up I had an error message to please connect the power to my video card. And I'm like, well, that's already connected. And I checked. Nothing gotten loose. Rebooted everything. It came back up. But I think the power supply is starting to pack it in. Which is reasonable because I'm fairly certain that's the original power supply in this computer. And the computer's Let's see, this coming March, it will be hitting a decade. So, I may have to do some surgery on this at some point, and I, it's probably not going to be in the, the next few weeks. So, you may, you may see some drop off in production. I'm not really sure how this is going to play out. It could just go boof, and you'll see this video in months after I finally get it edited. I have no idea. But we're going to try to play a little bit here. Just again. I just want to get the initial... 
get the initial phone call and then buy the darn thing because it's two parking spaces. Ooh, two parking spaces. We'll have to see if anything is the top of the class and then save you know those spaces for that. So yeah, we're not we're not doing anything with this. I'm not gonna try and do anything. I did get this. Didn't record it, but I did get the another decorator car. Which so far I haven't seen anything if this new update fixes the thing with the plates. Like can we can we now buy these cars to our can we convert them to our own personal cars and keep the plates? Because for right now, you know, just with the way the parking is, I'm probably just going to leave them as garage decorations. Hey, here we go. Hi there, honey. It's Maud. I got a proposition for you, and I'll keep it short and sweet. I'm looking to hand over the reins. <laughs> if you catch my drift and pass the baton to a hungry bounty hunter looking to spread their wings. That's where you come in. I'm gonna need somebody to open another office for me. <laughs> this is a ripe opportunity for a young, cash-rich bounty hunter like yourself to run their very own Bail Enforcement Agency. Now, I'll supply some of the staff and expertise. You just pick your favorite property off Maze Bank and pull the trigger. How you doing? Shut up. Okay, so there, we got the phone call. Do we want to just do that from here? We want to just... Or do we want to? Maybe I still I might come back here because I think I want to get that to 269 just to, just to. <laughs> you serious? There, honey, it's Maud. I got a proposition for you, and I'll keep it short. And sweet. I'm looking to hand over the reins. <laughs> if you catch my drift, and pass the baton to a hungry bounty hunter looking to spread their wings. That's where you come in. I'm gonna need somebody to open another office for me. <laughs> this is a ripe opportunity for a young, cash rich bounty hunter like yourself to run their very own bail enforcement agency. Now, I'll supply some of the staff and expertise. You just pick your favorite property off Maze Bank and pull the trigger. Ah, well, I'm back. It's been several days. And the computer's a little bit different now. It's got a new power supply, new SSD. Still waiting on the RAM. RAM is supposed to be, you know, replace the RAM. Depending. I mean, it's, it's getting up there in age. It's a nine and a half year old DD3s. So, we will see how this works out. We're testing things a little bit here. Just check this out here. Do I want to, to get into the bail business here? Not really. Because the computer's been down, I have a, I've had some opportunities to kind of do some research on this. Not thinking it's going to be, you know, a massively profitable thing. But it does give you two parking spaces, though. Yay, that's... Uh, 
How much of this I've said in previous parts of this video, I have no idea because it's been four days since I've had this thing rolling here. Loading times are a lot nicer. The nearly 10 year old, admittedly quick for its time, 5400 speed uh, HD. Get out. You're just, you're just getting out. Go get the monies. Excuse the moi. Excuse you. That'd be funny if you could like run people over. Just blah, 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 blah. But every time you hit somebody, you lost popularity. I'm glad it doesn't work that way, but you know. I, I can laugh at it. Did I get the money already? Got the money already. All right. Well, let's uh, let's ponder this. Okay, we're sitting on two hundred sixty-nine million two hundred thirty-nine six eighty-one here. We got we got money. We go to the foreclosure site. Just bail offices. Okay. Well, we got. Five opportunities and everything, because there's one up here that forget about it. We're not even gonna. I could, because the cheapest. I don't really plan on doing it, but that's even too painful for me. Um, normally, I would say in Del Perro, because that's where all my stuff is. I'm probably leaning towards that for this uh, this character. Downtown. Oh, let's move this over. These are options, I think, for Rusty Jack, because I need parking over there, too, even if it's just two spots. Mission Row. What's closer to... Uh... That's not bad, because it's off the highway here. You can zip up on things. And the, the upscale is the downtown Vinewood. Maybe we'll do Vinewood for Rusty Jack. You're probably wondering how we can afford to list such a, com a competitive price in downtown Vinewood, and that's understandable. But our website strict character limit means we just don't have time to explain. Instead, rest assured that we say this retail property is a golden opportunity to be creative, optimistic, forward-thinking, and wholly ignorant of the reason something bad happened. Okay. Let us kick this off. I'm going to mute the mic here for a little while. Just so that I can uh, I can get this done quite properly. Okay, we're not at cutscene point yet. Let's talk about this style. You got penal vintage, one hundred twenty-five thousand for criminal patterns, which makes it look even more seventies. What's the difference between him this and? Wood paneling. The wood paneling really does do something for it. And it you, can, you can smell the smoke. It's, it's literally how far back in time do you want to go? Let's go with this for right now. Agents, we're not going to do anything here. Because, and look at this. 750,000. 1.5 million. Yeah. No, no. Not, not 1.5 million. We're just... it's For, for a business, I'm probably not going to do much with it. I just want the parking. No, we're, we're not going to invest in that. Personal quarters. Yeah, it's always good to have a place to spawn to. Gun locker, we don't really need. Armor plating for the van, yeah, well, this armor plating is always a good plan. Three million dollars. So here's our high score. That's going to be it for a while because we're going to drain this right now. Poomph. Set away point. And let's go hop in the habanero. Check it out. We should get a phone call here soon. 
phone call should be happening. Probably when we when we exit. Hey again. Real glad you decided to take the leap on that bail office. Swing by when you get a second, okay? Just got a couple things to go over with you. Oh, and I want to introduce you to someone you'll be working with. See you soon. How you doing, honey? You the new owner? I'm Maud. I know you can't tell, but I'm thrilled to meet you. Takes a savvy investor to jump on an opportunity like this one. The price reflects our top-tier personnel. Uh, just uh, give me a second here. Now, you don't look much like a bail enforcement agent, but who the hell does? <laughs> One should never judge a bounty hunter by their cover, no matter how weird or scrappy or downright psychotic. <laughs> now, I gotta wrap up here, but my daughter Jeanette should be around here somewhere. Jeanette! Get out here and meet the new owner! She's very excited to start running an office all by herself. She'll take care of all the sourcing and paperwork for you, since I won't be around. Oh, fudge. Think of her as your very large, very loud shadow. Hey there, hi. Jeanette Eccles, junior assistant bounty hunter at your service at Chopping at the Bit. Mama says I'm supposed to help you with whatever you need so I can learn about how, you know, all this works. And, well, who better learn from than somebody with a resume like yours? I reckon you got more bounties on your head than anybody in L.S. <laughs> oh, Mama, you're using your ball. Well, yep, working on it. Gonna take it home with me, too, so I can keep it up while I watch Underbelly of Paradise. Proud of you. Take him back there, honey, and make him feel at home. There's a sale over at Dawn's Country, so Mama's gonna head out in a few, then you'll be on your own. Welcome to your new bottom dollar bail enforcement office. Jeanette will take good care of you. Okay, so all this back here is yours, baby. Okay, first things first. This is a bounty hunting gig. No, bail enforcement, because, you know, if you kill them, it's a whole thing, right? I mean, we got procedures for stuff like that, because Mama's new boyfriend works down at the morgue, but you definitely, definitely want to try to bring him back alive, because then I got to deal with all the blood and dead body parts in the van, and I'm sure you don't mind, but it's kind of a hygiene issue, and <sighs> get you a new one of those. Anyway, they pay more for the live ones, and you like money, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> all right, let me show you how we do all this. Okay. I'm leaving. Training wheels are officially off, Jeanette. Make me proud. I'll see you at home, Ma. Bacon, mac, and cheese later, right? I'm on it. Uh, don't forget your ball. No, honey. She deserves a nice retirement. I'm just glad she's finally letting me handle this stuff on my own. So anyway, I'm a real visual learner myself. I need pictures and whatnot to really get stuff, you know? And as your official assistant, I will always have a little slideshow uploaded right there on your computer of all your targets. All you gotta do is choose your target. Oh, and uh... I got you. After that, you just go get them and bring them back here and take them to that holding cell up front. That's it. Easy. Now, let's seal the deal. Come on. We're a team, okay? I'll take this. And uh, if you need anything else, I got it.
That was pretty funny. I, I, I like it. That was good. I think we're good here. I think the style of, of what... And, you know, there's a lot of detail to this. What is in the desk? Is that snacks or just, you know, drugs or... We have snacks. But we're snacked up. This is confidential. It probably shouldn't be laying on a desk. You can drink some whiskey. Yeah, you need you need the agents to be able to do this. But basically, you come in, you give the agents in order to do something, and you get a small amount of money, and it will take. I want to say forever. Oh, I'm still in passive mode. Okay, I forgot I was still. With so that will be a delay. Well, let's take a walk around. Oh, we're leaving. Okay, so this is your your little sleepy ho you know hole here where you can take a nap, change your clothes, probably get some paper. Hi there. Hey. -o. Let's see. Is this Bye now. soda? What's out here? Oh, that that's the door. Got some painting on the wall there. Okay, so here's your garage. And we got the van. That an exit too? That's just a pointless door. All right. Now we're not this way. We're to this way. I have to look at the details here. Let's see what's that say? Is that ten chan? Can you read that? Please pay attention to the something in the safety. Okay, it's it's standard office boilerplate. Yeah, it's like five and ten thousand dollars a clip. It takes a while to make up a million and a half. I mean, I might do it at some point just to have two decorations. In the place for a million and a half. All right. So you got four fugitives in front of you, and what they're worth. The real nasty ones are worth more money, but the little shits are fewer and further between. Ideally, we gotta hand them over alive for the full payout, but mistakes happen, you know. At least Murph, Ma's boyfriend at the morgue, can handle the uh, messier ones. We'll still get paid, but it'll be a cut to the money, so best keep them wriggling. <laughs> I'll update this database regularly with what I know. So just log on in and see who we got out there. I thought it was her mother or that boyfriend. Did everybody just hear that? I don't know. Should we go for the big money? Take a little while longer. It is midnight, basically. It's, it's taking me a while to get this computer running. But this changes daily. Let's just, let's right, try it. that one's a weird one. She's a serious businesswoman, a CEO. So obviously, she dodges everything that comes her way. <laughs> Quarterly reviews, taxes, conspiracy to murder charges. And now, she's jumped bail by being, get this, dead. <laughs> Honestly, people will try anything. <laughs> okay, so dead. I assume she's not really dead. Oh, hey, we're in a whole little thing here. Okay. Purchase all ammo. I didn't know it was that far down. And armor up. No uh, adjustable uh, difficulty, so it is what it is. Let's see if we can solo this. I'm 
jury's out on whether or not I'll ever do any of these on a regular basis. Should we take the company truck? Or the heavy? Hey, I know Jeanette's got this under control, but I have a little insider information about the target. She's apparently dead. Now, I say that because my boyfriend, Murph, is a mortician and friends with the crew over at St. Fiacra. They said something's off about the body that came in. Jeanette will call in a second to give you the lowdown, but in the meantime, I start heading over to the morgue. All right, so we're trying this. It's a thing. That's what happens when you're reaching for the mute because you're going to start coughing. And then you lose, you can't get your hands back on the keyboard and then someone dies for it. Well, I'm sure she'll respond. It's a video game. Everybody responds here. Let's see, when we get here, we'll, we'll look at the image he sent. We, do we do it while we're driving? There we go. That is the same picture as that we saw before. Okay, in, in the, at the computer. I mean, as far as money making, like. The amount of effort that's going to go into this for 125k probably way too high. You think you could do spare parts from the uh, from the bunker and then excess goods from you know the CEO business and get a hundred? That's a lot. A lot less thought goes into it. But the other hand, the whole point of playing a video game is to what? Play a video game. And it's not like money is really. Be nice if I could, you know, reuse that. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I could, in, in an RP kind of way, put my mortician's outfit on. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. Should we change into that? Appearance. There you go. <coughs> Excuse moi. Where am I going? Take out the guard. So I guess my little outfit here ain't gonna work. Okay, let's go suppressor mode. Can we even go more suppressor mode? Take out the guard. Where's the guard? Where the heck is the morgue entrance? How far off are we here? Like, are we even on the right street? We're gonna need an angle. He must be around this corner. Oh, 
There we go. Sorry, dude. It's bail stuff. Have something quick and quiet if we need it. We're not moral about the hunters, apparently. Anything moral in this game? No, no, there really isn't. This is going to be another one of those. Try tasing him, but two guards not paying attention. Well, I didn't set off seventeen alarms. photo of the body. Just take a photo of the body and send it my way. Send to Jeanette. Let's get out of here before someone notices that we've killed people. Got it. Well, I don't know who the hell's laying on that slab, but it ain't Grace Whitney. Okay, now it'll let us out. Alright, clear out of there. I'll try and figure out where the real Grace Whitney's hiding. Okay, so if I'm a billionaire trying to start a new life, the first thing I'm gonna need is cash. Apparently Whitney's super into art. Got her own collection. I say we head over to her gallery to start. I got a feeling she'll sell all her bullshit there first. <laughs> I let the people live, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. I cough a lot anyway, you know. Went to, you know, ever since I've had that pneumonia that couple times, I've always had a little bit of a persistent cough. As much money as Grace Whitney, I'd spend it on a sprunk fountain. Now that's a work of art, partner. A what fountain? Oh, sprunk. A sprunk fountain. Okay, yeah. I'm down with that, you know. I'll bet you Sonny... You know, I haven't seen that Sonny Evans video on this yet. I wonder if he's still working... Working this stuff. Because that, that would be something he could concur with. The, the love for Sprug. The van's pretty good. Oh, Mr. Turn. Probably can just get it up here. It's not as doggy as I thought it would be. Underground parking lot. We're doing this again. Take out the security guard. This looks like he should be. Maybe a double quick pump. Pump. Pump and pump. Is it a vehicular elevator? Nope. Looks big enough for the truck. Oh, this isn't going to be good. A little bit of stealth. 
but probably not a lot of stuff. Hey, do you like my new hair? You look like a totally different person, right? Oh, God, the general population is so stupid. She still doesn't know that the jig is up, so get past the guards that focus on her. Probably gonna be a lot of guards. I'm guessing guards. Pew! You uh, fuck you! No! They found me! Oh, hey, you should swap a painter or something while you're in there. I won't tell on you. Ain't like she doesn't deserve it. We can sell it for some extra cash. Don't let her get away! Straight up shoot out. Okay, now we're. We take the bag. All right. Oh, oh here we go. So now just straight up thievery. Come on, work. I don't think you get much for that either, what but... What the fuck am I doing? Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Just... You fucking loser! Oh, shit! Go for some heavier... Whoa, what the heck did he hit me with? I can't take more of that. Alright. If you want to be that way. A little low on range there for. Okay, so we've cleared our way. Let us. Can we, can we take cover? No. Let's let me take cover. Snackify. Sprunk for luck. And we're going to try and not blow her head off while we're doing this. Uh oh. Okay, so we need to take care of that. They out of range? Yeah, I think it was out of range. Ooh, right in the face. This is expensive. And we lost. Can we do a quick restart though? I was in the wrong weapon. I was trying to get the helicopter and you know. Let's see. Can we do a page up? Page up. Restart at checkpoint. Which we should have gotten the checkpoint for going outside. Yeah, alright. Good checkpoint.
I'm anticipating more choppers. I am heavy weapons guy. This is my weapon. Okay, switching weapons. Stun gun! Oh, there's more of these guys. I think he's out of range for that. We need... Oh, come now. We need... Hopefully we don't drop the helicopter on her. Okay, before we, we move out. And this is probably not going to end well. You're armed, huh? Kind of range. Take out the remaining enemies, okay. The other person. Drop the fire off now. You fucking idiot. Perhaps. My character just kind of does what anyone tells them. You know, hey, go shoot a bunch of people. Sure. That's kind of idiotic. I got it. Man. Where's this last guy? Oh, here we are. Okay. Don't hesitate. Grab her. I had to go shoot the guy. These are your rules. Come on. Okay, let's get some more cash. Twenty-four dollars, man. It all counts. We're gonna miss out on twenty-four dollars. Wow, we took her all the way downstairs in a blink of an eye. I like their efficiency. Now just shove for Miss Whitney over to the bail office. I'm sure she'll love that. Just don't let her get into your head. She's a master manipulator. Crashed on its own. I hope your mediocre bounty hunting business has a good legal team because you've never been sued like I'm about to sue you. You'll all spend the rest of your days fighting for scraps at Bowling Broke. Did you have any idea of the, the maniacal stuff that I have done in this game? Clearly, no clue. Can we make sure I'm not housed with a. <sighs> general population. That move apparently lost him. <laughs> I'll try to make her nice and comfy in here. Okay, mute for uh
Fuck you. Ah, shut up. I can't believe that bitch thought changing her hair was enough to throw us off the scent. How dumb does she think we are? She's got three counts of robbery. <laughs> Troubled member of a local biker gang. You know anything about biker gangs? Well, this ain't the cute cookout kind. More the run over your dog and shoot out your kneecaps kind. Hey, did you see the articles about this one? This bitch is wanted for fraud, embezzlement, a bunch of crazy shit. She bragged about driving a Pagasi through her business rival's window and taking a dump on their desk. She left out the part where she hit a receptionist. <laughs> nice PR move there. <laughs> If you're going after Bridget Foster, then you need to know there's two things she's famous for. One, her massive freaking mansion. Two, her massive freaking attitude. <laughs> With charges of fraud, embezzlement, and running over an assistant, she's gonna take some convincing. You look 
look like such a dick. You want to start something with me? You aren't supposed to be down here. What are you fucking doing? Shit. a dick. You fucking loser! Oh, I've seen some assholes, but you take the prize. I'll kill you!
Listen up, dick. Is there a problem? Hey! Get the hell out of here! You can't be around hey, here! Oh, you want something? Here. Piece of shit! Fuck off! Fuck! Man down! You aren't supposed to be down here? What the fuck is it with you? What's your fucking problem? You. Oh! oh crap, Tyler got shot! Yo, we got a problem here? I'll kill you! <laughs> He's been hit! What the fuck do you want? Die! You are dead! I'm gonna kill you! And of course I've been talking and I, I, I knew I'd forget to unmute. Oh well. That's alright. It's, it's all okay. I was just saying, this is kind of fun. I mean, it's fun stuff. Maybe the last oh, bunch... I'm gonna... 
Maybe the last little bit was better with you wondering what the heck I was thinking. I think that might be true, so we're going to let that go. <laughs> we delivered the target. Can we just keep pranking them? Or is there a cooldown on those? Okay, what's this guy's story? Three words. Kang Pei, Bank Robber, ka -ching! <laughs> Wait, is Bank Robber one or two? Th this is a nasty one. His signature is knocking the teeth out of bank customers' mouths. You know how expensive teeth are? Oh yeah, let's, let's grab him. So Ricky, he runs with the Korean mob. One of their button men. Not afraid to get his hands dirty. <laughs> We're talking armed robbery with a liberal use of arms. According to my sources, he's on the job. So now's your chance to grab him. Leak a bank. Oh, we're interrupting another uh, bank robbery. Yeah, we're good. It's the same image. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yep. Saw it just a couple minutes ago there. You have to text them to me. My short-term memory is not that bad. We're, we're okay. This is, these are nice little missions when you just feel like screwing around a little bit, but you don't want to be too heavily invested into something, you know? Yes, you're rewarded, but you know, is that really the point? Am I really going to make back the three million dollars that I have in here just to get two parking spaces? No, no, I just... million and a half bucks of parking space, I'm, I'm okay with that at this point. No, not really, no. I, I really... I need another ten car garage at least. Now, that's a really strong sign. So the goal is kill everybody but this guy. All right, I think we got. I think we got this down. Listen, the last thing we want is the LSPD showing up. We can't let big government arrest him. We're running a private enterprise, damn it! Make sure you get there before the cops show up. Not most of them. Yeah, bigger gun. You are hearing sirens. Okay, the the, the target is in the uh, switch to. Okay, let's 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 take a little time here. It's gonna end bad for you. Get down! Now we have to get we have to. Okay, hopefully it teleports me right to the truck. Past all the cops. And now I've got a two star. Okay. You got him? Then bring him in. Let me out, asshole! No! Out of the way, moron! And our standard runaway. It's a good test. Can, can this thing climb? That That's a good thing. I wonder if we could try and take it up to Chiliad at some point. I wonder if that's a. A thing we can do. Is that a thing to be done? While we're sitting here waiting, we could get him taunting us for a little bit. A little bit of taunting. Since when did they change it so the cops can get up the hills, you know? That's no fun. All right, we made it. 
Looks like we made it! And now our car is stuck. This isn't good. No, it's not. We're totally stuck here. Okay. We all know what to do in this situation. I don't know if it's going to work. Because sometimes the physics on these kind of cars... I mean, we may fail this mission anyway, but I mean... That's exactly how you he did You have to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies in exactly. your high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting. Truth be told, I don't know if it's the RAM that's causing that to glitch out like that. I mean, it did, uh, it did crash while I was booping a truck out of a hole. I mean, you know, it's trying to get back onto the road. It would be nice if you could just, you know, hit E to register instead of manually registering. That's... Seems like they're using some code from... that other... From the... Well, whatchamacallit. From the salvage yard where you have to do it manually. It's the next day, so we have other people. That blew up and I said, well, this is a good time to go to bed. These guys rotate through on the hour, and I, I'm going to hope to play a little bit today, so I think we'll come back to Kiddio. Let's see, these two are equally high paying. The little Prince. I feel like this is the, one the, a good story. I'm seeing charges of distribution, burglary, assault, and first degree murder on that guy. Every authority in town has gone after this guy. Got their hands on him, but every time they catch him, he just slips right through. During his last escape, he hit a couple people that were just waiting at the bus stop. As if taking the bus wasn't bad enough. We'll try to secure him. Everyone knows Lil' Prince. And everybody's trying to get him for something. Murder, double murder, triple murder, you name it. I've got his last location, but other than that, you're on your own. Go to Sandy Short. All right, well, let's not drive there. According to my research, you don't have to drive the van. It'll come to it. It'll, it'll be there later. Step one is go to Sandy Shores. Which will be an unpleasant drive back, but we can't take him in the helicopter. I suppose we could use a cargo boob, but we don't know that yet. There's that little skip in the frame right there that I don't know if it's 
graphics card or memory. I'm hoping it's memory. Or it's just GTA. It's not hot to put a new memory card in this. I put enough money into it. And everything seems to be mostly working with it, so we're not gonna. We're just gonna see what happens when the new chips arrive. Helicoptering in is way better than. Okay, wait a minute. There's. We're getting a lock here. Is one of them little prints? No, they're just, just guys who are going to get blown up. Let's see, where's the uh, entrance? So, a little, little bit of Cayo Perico here. Why isn't this opening? Do I have to blow the doors open? Do I have to hop over? Go where the barbed wire ain't? I'm assuming a mini game is coming up. Nope, that was it. A sightseer app. It's such a useful app. I don't know why those guys were lighting up. Let's uh, open the app. Okay. Is he fishing? Seeing them. There you go. That's him, I think, doing a deal. Well, I didn't lock on him. I went to. See, let's, let's, let's. Camera back. Do I have to zoom in or something? Yeah, that's what he looks like. Zoom in W. Alright. Exit Sightseer app. Take out the gang members. Oh, Pinker's on. I only have a couple minutes on this session, so. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Well, let's see, office garages. I'll bring it to you. We may as well use all the tools that are tools at our disposal. Disposals of our tools. And See now, in a bulletproof car, we can be precise. He's not far. And let us, just for neatness sake, send that back so that we can call it upon it if we need it. Yo, boom, 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 boom. Security upgrades. I think that should be adequate. That was adequate. Just, just touch him with the car a little bit. All right. And magic truck, boom. Just teleports in. Now it's the long. Target good secured. Head back and we'll get the paperwork done. 
You cocksucker! Can we shoot behind us? I don't know. Sometimes you can. Oh, right now there's nobody immediately behind us. We have a limited range of fire, okay. I wonder if that comes from armoring it. Probably not. I think the bat had a bat going anyway. Let's see if we can jerk with these, these bikers. Let's confuse the AI. I mean, the nice thing about the armored truck is I probably don't have to worry too much about them, really. Yeah, I think I think we've gummed them up a little bit. So yeah. We'll probably get far enough ahead that they respawn. Yo, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Huh? Hello, rabbit. Oh no, not again. Well, it's pretty clear I gotta get some RAM installed in this thing. The old RAM just not holding up, I don't think, because there's definitely issues. At least, I hope this fixes the issues. We'll, we'll just see what happens. We'll, we'll see as things move forward. Not an LS. How you do it? My, my computer is a bit unstable. So on that note, folks, I think we'll call this video uh, it for now. It might even be a while before I get this edited up until I get the meeting, until I get the RAM installed. It'll only be a few more days. So this might take a little while to come up, but at any rate, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Nice, uh, nice uh, sharing this with you. You know, this first taste of the new DLC. I think it's okay. I don't think it's gonna be something I spend tons and tons and tons of time on. But I guess we'll we'll see what happens. But on that note, folks, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Bows, bows, bows. I'm not gonna crap.